Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 4. Last episode, we killed another of the bandit leaders, and all that leaves is the bandit leader Brog located north of here. Before we go in, I just want to take a look at what's in this little cave to the south down here that we found. It is very hot and moist down here. Steam is drifting up from the chasm. There are boot prints clearly visible in the mold on the floor. Okay! Why are there fire lizards here? In fact, they're fire lizards is... Ow! Ah, come on! I'm gonna reload that. That was an annoying bother. Yes, yes, I know. Boot prints, yada, yada, yada. Alright, a bit of healing. There you go. Oh, come on! Really? Ugh. Bloody hell. We just start this episode and they die. God damn it. Really annoying. <sighs> Bloody hell. Another hidden bandit cache. That all that was over here? Just another hidden bandit cache? Okay. Piercing gloves. Sure. Fine, I'll take it. Iron helmet. I don't know if the braces are going to be used. Or the helmet. So, you know what? We got the stuff. We got coins. We got a lightning scroll. We got an energy potion. And a U-bow. Alright. Let's get out of here. Get the person healed again. Or recovered. Or whatever. Bloody hell. Long, long run. Bloody hell. I'm just annoyed. Yeah, this way, fine. Come on! Okay, this stuff here. Iron helmet we don't need. Iron bracers, yes. Bronze bracers... Fine. We're good. Now, we can go deal with that uh, fortress up there. We can at least take a look at the uh, front entrance, see what it's like over there. Huh. You might not be able to see, but there's like a slight line here. It's greenish up here, bluish down here. Slime tunnels. Oh, this is where we found some of these worms. Interesting. This is actually the other side of the river. So I suppose you can take a look over here. We may as well. Gnawing worms. Bah. Ow. There we go. Oop, didn't mean to hit that. And we got an emerald. Also, there are more worms. Right, kill them. Huh. It appears that, in all the recent tumults, something tore a large section out of the middle of this bridge. Fortunately, some workers were recently able to come out here long enough to repair the span. Then, being proper sensible Avernites, they ran for their lives before anything attacked them. Huh. Well, that's nice. And we found a beautiful crystal here. This must be where those worms were, with a girdle of insight, plus one to intelligence. 
Yes, please. Don't need either of those, but the intelligence boost will be handy. This is likely the main entrance. Yep, that's the main entrance. Kill out this wolf in the front. Ow. Another wolf. Kill them both. There we go. And while we could go in the front door, why? <laughs> we can go in the back door. Just a bit of a run. Because why would you ever storm in the front door when you have the option to sneak in the back and take them by complete surprise? I didn't want you to close that door. No. Alright. We already cleared all this out. So around we go. Castle of Bandit Lord Bragg. We will not surrender to a Vernum Vermin. Alright. Probably going to hurt, but let's see what we can do. Alright, in we go. As I expected. Actually, hmm. I guess we're going to have to fight these. Ow. And, can't see it. Can't see it. <sighs> Fine. Fireball. Can you hit either of them? Oh, you hit that one. Okay, there's still a bit more out here. That works. And another casting of that. And that gets rid of the other bandits. Okay. And you know what? That's actually very expensive, so I guess the one will be enough for now. More wargs. Oh, I see you there. We'll need to kill you before we go to the front gate. There we go. Huh. They've got a lot around them. Well, we can kill these ogres at least. Muhaha. So how are we supposed to get in there? It's got to be a way. Yeah, you two focus on the ogres. <sighs> oh, hello. Ember Storm. Oh dear me, that was powerful. Run. Oh geez. Run. No, you know what? I'm just going to reload. Okay, so we know of that Ember Storm person. Yes, and we also know of you. Yes, yes. No, I, excuse me, want that. There we go. Yes, you two take the attacks from the front. And you're taking very horrible... Reloading! Starting to get a little bit annoyed. 
Okay, you know what? You two, wield bows. See what you can do. You're actually providing a bit of help. I am mildly surprised. A little healing. That works. Yeah, there's the miss. 37% chance to hit. That's more like what I expected. Thank you, bloody hell. There we go, okay. Now that that's all taken care of, once again, out here. Or we will kill all these. No, I didn't! I forgot to change the weapon. We need the spear. There we go. Ah, the archers again. Mooha. There, that archer's dead. That one's still alive, but it won't be for long. Really? Another one in there? Oh, there's the door. Can you hit him? You can, actually. Another bandit. Alright, finish off that archer. Thank you. Oh, come on. That. Thank you. Crap. Okay, you know what? Charge in, get as close as you can. Oh, great. Of all people to be filled with terror... And there's a slith, too. Osios. Well, that guy's taking a lot of damage, actually. Okay, that guy's dead. Ah, come on! God damn it. Are we really going to have to go through all of this again? Because of the, all the people who could have been terrified, it had to be the healer. Son of a... Run. Get back to town. We went through all that. Oh, there's something there. We went through all that. I'm just gonna bring him back. I'm not gonna fight frustration again. Ugh. Isn't this great? Now I'm actually reloading. Now I'm not actually reloading on every single death. Isn't this fun? Watching me run back and forth instead of reloading. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, just a bit annoyed. You either reload repeatedly or run back and forth to town. Which would you prefer? Mm. Alright, kill these wolves. Uh, stop. 
Stop that, stop that, stop that! Thank you. Okay, there we go. We'll pick up all that stuff in a bit. Alright. Alright, we may as well open this. Oh, there's more bandits over there. Oh, and how are we going to... Alright, we got a gold ring, we got a mass blessed scroll, and we got a bandit there. Who is now dead. Oh, hello. Okay, don't cancel combat then. Okay, around this way. Get around to... Oh, hello. Really? How can you not see it? It's right there. There. Alright. Let me just get rid of these archers. Hello. Uh, yeah. And you. Nope. And you. There we go. Alright. Couple fish in here. Ah, stairway down. Interesting. Couple things in there. Nothing of use in there. Right, there was an osseus in here, I think. Ow. I don't believe we killed him. He should be here somewhere. Okay, take those. There he is! Osseos. Something like that, yeah. And poison, because I'm finding this to be extremely useful. Ow! Not fun. Not pleasant in any way. Thank you for dying. Leather armor composite bow. 8 to 16. Much better than the U-bow. We got coins. Leather van braces are actually valuable. And an augmenting potion. Over here we got some coins, bronze spear, nothing else to use. And what's in here? The bandit sealed up this room. It's a small shrine, a good deal older than the other rooms in the ruins. There are old dry bones scattered everywhere. I'm gonna save before I touch it. Alright, let's touch this, uh, thing. The altar is a plain slab of dark stone. When you get close to it, some of the bones surrounding you suddenly regain something resembling life. They silently get up, eager to slay you. One of the skeletons is holding a spear. It's a beautiful weapon. Well, I'm sure that'll be useful. All we need to do is not die. Fortunately, you are going to be extremely useful here. Problem is the slowing. Can't do anything. You can do something, though. A casting of this. Got that one. Got that one. Two more. Ah, I think it dropped this. That one was the one with the spear. Excellent. Casting of that. And that. There we go. Alright, what is a spear? Blessed spear. 12 to 30. Wow, that is actually much better. Thank you. Thank you very much. And a couple wolves. Spear's gonna be very useful. And got it. Alright, looks like the only way we can go now is down. And down we go. Alright, 
How big is it down here? Hmm. It's quiet. A little too quiet. Series of mines with crystals. Look, I know you're there. There you go. Ooh. Another piercing crystal. Useful. This leads up into here. Okay. Well, we got some things here. Some coins and the like. Killed the guards. Not much else. Another stairway up. Interesting. We'll take a look at that in a bit. That's probably the way through. You know what? Yes, let's take a look at what's up here. There is a small, wiry man standing by this fire, wearing armor of steel. He has a long, sharp blade which he passes easily from hand to hand. Few who travel in Avernum have not heard stories of this man. You have finally tracked Bragg, the lord of the bandits of the Eastern Gallery, all the way to his lair. He lives in a small camp on this isolated shore, far from the forts and encampments he commands. He looks barely able to contain his fury. Nobody has ever harmed his enterprises to the extent that you have and lived. Still, he is a realist, and outnumbered. You have done well. Everything I have made you have undone. But let it be s never be said that Bragg, lord of the bandits, is unwise. Let me make a simple proposition to you, and I might return to the Abyss peacefully. You are from the Abyss? Yes. When the Avonites get too close for comfort, I return to that land of bandits and rogues. It is my true home. I only come out here to harvest new wealth for those in the caverns of Avernum. A deal. I might be interested. All right, here it is. I leave here. I return to the Abyss. I don't come back for at least a year. You can report to your bosses that you defeated me and collect your rewards. Everybody is happy. Also, I won't have to kill you. All it will take to convince me to leave is 300 coins. You can't send me home empty-handed, can you? No deal. This is essentially bribery, blackmail, probably other terms for it, but no. I thought not. In that case, I will show you what happens to those who dare to inconvenience me. He holds up his left hand. You see that there is a symbol tattooed on his palm. He mutters a few words and everything around you seems to speed up. Then you hear footsteps behind you. Some bandits have snuck onto the path behind you. Bragg is well prepared. Yes, I may as well speed up some of us. At least a little. Slowed. I see the bandits behind us. We need to get up to them. Quite a few of them. Okay. Shade should help a bit. That hurt them a little. Ooh, you can cast it again. Excellent. Yes, Bragg's taking pain. Ah, darn it. Slowed. Just from moving away. Not pleasant. Aha! Casting of that. And another casting. There goes the spiritualist. He healed himself, son of a bitch. Oh, thank you. Alright. That got rid of all his reinforcements. Now we just need to take care of him. Easier said than done. Well, actually, no. We pretty much kind of have him already. You deal the death blow to Bragg. His dream of a bandit empire comes to an end in an instant. He falls onto his back and looks up at the ceiling of the cave. He seems to be trying to say something, but he doesn't have the strength. Then his eyes glaze over. And victory! Bandit Lord Bragg is dead. 
Now what did he drop? Steel broadsword. That is pretty darn good. 6 to 12. 9 to 27. Yes, please. That's valuable. Take that. Don't need that. That we can take. Clover boots. Plus 4 armor. Plus 3 to luck. Sure, take them. And here we got a gold necklace. Not much else back here. Bandit Lord is dead. Almost done. Just need to take a look at what's in here. Interesting. This must be their treasure hall or something. Not much. Grey Mold! I think we actually need that for a quest. I suppose we can use the crystal to find out what's in here. Oh! This spellbook belonged to one of the bandits. Years of being tossed around in dank caverns have left it pretty damaged, but some of it is still useful. Browsing it, you learn more about a key thief skill, clouding the minds of your enemies and of guards who might be watching for you. Your skill with, these sk with days improves. Excellent! Where did we need the gray mold? Fort Draco. Fort Draco, Fort Draco. We can actually go right to Fort Draco and do that. Okay, then. We'll do that right now. We're all done here, after all. Why not? And we can leave. So let's do just that. Turn this way, up to Fort Draco. Potion Master Rank, I believe his name was. I believe was up here. Ah, Frank takes the gray mold and smells it. It seems to meet with his approval. Then he fetches three small, labeled clay containers for you. This is a generous reward from this much gray mold, mind you, but I'm sure it was difficult for you to get it here. Not really. Once we found it, it was easy. Nothing in there. Now we just need to go turn in the quest. The kill brag one quest thing, that is. You know what I mean. Easy to do. Down this way, round this way. Alright. Oh, that's not it. Round this way. Round this way. Up in here. And I have slain Bandit Lord Bragg. Johnson listens to your tale and nods. For a moment, his smile is actually genuine. Then it is true. The power of the bandits is broken. Once again, as they have in the past, adventurers have assisted me. I think I have taken enough of your time. Feel free to continue with your errands and so forth. Oh, and a final reward. He unlocks a third of the boxes in the corner of his office. Please help yourself to the rest of my equipment. Thank you very much. Steel breastplate! Yes, please! And that iron one we're going to sell. Because I think John is... Mm, yeah, I think John's fine without it. And we can train more. Even better. You actually need more strength. More strength. Lots of strength. You... And you... Okay, you. What are we going to do with you? Probably should have put points in tool use, but too late now. Okay. Nova. Hmm. Uh, yeah, seven pole weapons, I think, works. Could have used more melee weapons, but the strength is important. A point in strength. And a bit in first aid, I think, works. No. Yeah, for... Uh, make it bows. Could use the ability. And point in arcane lore. And you... Mage spells improved. Would be nice. Uh, not much else you can really put in anything. I guess... Hardiness, actually. I think that works. Alright. Alright. Now we're all stronger and better armed. Now we got some things to sell. Quite a few, actually. Sell that, sell that, sell those. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell those. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell those. 
Perfect. All right. That is going to be the end of that. Next episode, we'll start heading southwards again, towards Silvar and Fort Avernum. See what's going on down there. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Nova, Lear, and John, and Pyrrha. This has been an Avernum 4 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.